let's look at the if function. We've already started to take a look at it uh, in the brief intro to functions, but the if function is one of the most useful functions in Excel. The if function returns one value if a condition that we tell it to evaluate is true, and a different value if that same condition that we told Excel to evaluate is false. All if statements follow the same structure, and if you look and just type in if, open parentheses, this is the structure they'll always include. First is that logical test where we say, hey Excel, test this condition. If it's true, then show this value. If it's false, then show this value. So on the if tab, let's see if we can write a dynamic formula to determine if we can vote for president based on our age. Here we want to say equals if, open parentheses, if my age, using the up arrow key, so if that cell is greater than or equal to 18, because that's the minimum voting age, then I can vote. In quotations, type out yes. Otherwise, I must be younger than 18 and I cannot vote. So in quotations, no. Press enter and you can see that we are 25 years old and so we can vote for president. Let's check that. If we're 15, we would assume that we can't vote for president and that automatically update, updates to no. And let's just check if we're 18, we are now allowed to vote for president. So that seems to be right. Now, how many years have I been eligible to vote? Here I can use math within that condition that we are uh, writing. So we can say if, again, this is greater than or equal to 18, then I can do that math. Then we'll take this minus 18. Otherwise, I've been eligible for zero years. So again, if I'm eligible to vote essentially, so if that cell is greater than or equal to 18, then the number of years that I've been eligible to vote is that age minus 18. Otherwise, I haven't been eligible to vote and I have not been eligible to vote for any years or zero. So let's check again. If I put in that I'm 15 years old, then of course I have been eligible to vote for zero years. Now we can also use nested if statements. And before we go into this, I will say that nested if statements can get a little bit long and complex. And to the extent possible, I actually advise not using if statements if you can avoid it because they start to look messy and they're hard to audit. But let's see what they look like just so we understand how to use them if we ever chose to use them. So we want to check if me and my younger sibling are eligible to vote. In that case, I'm going to first check if I'm eligible to vote. So this is the same logic that we've been using. If open parentheses, my age is greater than or equal to 18, then now, if I'm eligible to vote, let's check if my younger sister or brother is eligible to vote. So now we write a nested if statement. So if my sibling is greater than or equal to 18. Now, if we get to this point and both of these are true, then both of us are eligible to vote. But if within this if statement, if my sibling is not greater than or equal to 18, then we both are not eligible to vote. Okay, so now this whole if statement becomes the value if true. So if, and we'll only get to this, if my age is greater than or equal to 18. But if I am not uh, greater than or equal to 18 years of age, we'll skip over this entirely because it doesn't matter if my younger sibling is eligible to vote for not or not, I'm not eligible to vote and therefore we are not both eligible to vote. Press enter. And that looks like uh, 
it's not working. Let's see. So if C6 is, oh, here, I need to type in C7. Okay, so the first reference, we want to reference my age. The second reference, we want to enter uh, our sibling's age. Okay, so at this point, we are not both eligible to vote. And if I make my sibling 20, then we are both eligible to vote. And if I'm 15, then we will both not be eligible to vote. All right, and down here is a practice for you to practice where we have included an input expected company revenue and an actual company revenue. So these are the estimates or the expectations. And same thing for EBITDA as well. And so you'll want to write an if statement here that compares the actual revenue and actual EBITDA to expected revenue and expected EBITDA. If expected is less than uh, actual, then our actual has beat our expectations. And so we'll want to say it has exceeded expectations. And if not, then it has not exceeded expectations. So that one is up to you to write on your own.